So the one thing I had in the scene uh, for all the connected tissues around me, including the dendritic cell, was some simple dynamic effects on them so that they are not just sitting in space. They're kind of hovering in space over there. So basically, and it's this is a very subtle effect. So what I did was I selected one of the tissues. So in this case, the dendritic cells. This is the only thing that's there in my scene. I have 500 frames. I have made sure that I'm playing every frame while going to the animation preferences. So just select the object. I go to dynamics and I'll go under fields and the cool thing in Maya is you don't have to convert an object to active or active rich body or anything you can just apply a field and it's a dynamic object so I selected one of them and then applied an air field and you can see that the star shaped cell goes up that's because the air field has some parameters so in my case I took the magnitude down to 0.2, the attenuation was slightly higher to about 5, and also this is the direction x, y, and z, so that's why it's going up in y right now. So let's do 0.3 over here, and let's do a 0.2 and 0.1, and let's take down the speed, or let's play it first and see what it does. You can see that it's still nicely going up, and I need a lot more frames in this case, so I'm going to have about 2000 frames so let's go here and play this and you can see it's going there so let's take the speed down as well so let's say about 0 0.04 and you can see that if you go really close to it it's got a little very very subtle although maybe you can't see it right now I can just increase the speed a little bit very subtle motion very very extremely subtle and we can increase this if you want to and you can also increase the magnitude if you want to. So, and that's much obvious. But that's what I had pretty much for uh, the, the cell. And let's take the magnitude down to 0.3, let's say in this case. The one more, one more effect I had was pretty much one more field, turbulence. So select the object, apply a turbulence field. And in case of the turbulence, if I select Control A, and both of them are down over here, so here's the air field, here's the turbulence. In case of the turbulence, I had a magnitude again really less. Let's try 0.3 in this case. And pretty much I had something called a noise ratio. So let's say 0.8. That's the level, and that's the noise ratio right there. So. Noise ratio is 0.7 through 10, so I'll just leave it at that, but we can increase the noise level if we want to. And there you go. But like I said, in my case, I had a very, very subtle effect. And one more thing I had was, on the outside, I made a big polygon sphere. And everything was inside the sphere. Everything is happening inside the sphere. So think about the sphere has like a skin layer and I selected it and I made it just under dynamics I made it a passive rigid body so if in any case let me just turn on x-ray if this cell was to collide with that it would just come back so pretty much those are the effects I had in terms of the dynamics on the scene